If you're talking about civilized in terms of well-mannered, like sit up straight, responsibility, just kind of being, you know, I guess stiff upper lip. Sorry, no, that's Northerners are way tougher than Southerners. Mm. Hi. Hi, I'm Emmy. I'm Luke, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi Luke, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm not bad, thank you very much. Good. Mm. Have you eaten in Manchester, in Liverpool, some smashing places? Right, well, no, I haven't. I haven't been that far north. Y what? But to me, I just feel like the South and in London and in so many places, there's just so much more. How there's can you variety. say that when you've never been? Because you just know. You, you just know. know. You do know. You no. just you just know. I'm sorry, what the North has is some amazing, like really beautiful country pubs that do amazing home cooked food. Right. You don't get that in London. But North is just like same old, same old. It's like, okay. <laughs> what does pubs, that mean? Pubs. It's like South, you've got like. Thai food, Asian food, Korean food, this, you know, you got the world cuisine and then in the north it's just like egg. <laughs> Listen, hear me out, hear me out. People go like on a on a night out mm -hmm. or you know they get like wild. I feel like it's it's to a point. Whereas Northerners are like, oh, like that one time I went to Leeds in and out. Oh my goodness, Leeds trade station, Friday night, carnage, absolute carnage. And I was like, what is this? This feels post apocalyptic. Okay, firstly, some people would just call that commitment. And secondly, that doesn't exclude us from being cultured. Culture's not just about going out and whether you get hammered or not. Mm. You know, there's so much more to it than that. But to me, I feel like it, it's not even a case of like, Northerners are, you know, uncivilized. I think it's just the <laughs> North has its own culture. Like, I feel like there are attributes that are just like to the North. And I feel like if you're talking about civilized in terms of how you would initially think of it, like, you know, well-mannered, like sit up straight, you know, responsibility, just kind of being, you know, I guess, stiff upper lip, like. Sorry, no, that's <laughs> Northerners are way tougher than Southerners. Mm. Stiff upper lip. Define like, tough. We got our minds. Not anymore, but like, we did. I'm a traitor to where I'm oh. from. I'm an absolute traitor. Growing up, it was um, breakfast, dinner, and tea. Right. At school, if mm. you called lunch lunch, then people would think you're a bed. You, you have to call Ooh. it dinner. No. Yeah, no. honestly. We would have like, okay, if you're having like a hot meal, yeah. you would have like a hot dinner, right? But yeah. If you, have, if you brought your own lunch, it would be a packed lunch. And we call it lunch time. Like teachers would say, or the bell would ring, be like, okay, it's lunch time. It's not scram time. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you call it, time. And I'm just like, I can't, I can never understand that. Like, blah, blah, aisle. It's I'm, like, I'm a bit confused by your aisle. insistence that we call it scran. Because, because of, all the, of all the words, yeah, but it's it just, like, it just, why? It just shows a lack of education because scran just means, <laughs> scran just means any food. But to me, it's not a particular meal. Scran just seems like anything, like leftovers, like rat food. Like, Do you think we eat our know? bins? Hundred percent. Oh, what about what, what do we moan about? Just everything. I feel like Southerners will moan about the tube, the tube, or oh. like you know taxes, or you know money, or you know tourists. Oh, I'm too rich. Right. I live in the south. Right, Boo. but but Northerners will complain about everything, like, like what? every aspect. The number one thing is like the weather, like the weather all the time. Like oh, it's f weather's like. Sh is this, is this person, is this, this, like, I feel like Nola's just so negative, 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 and I'm like, oh. Yeah, but the thing is, you've got to bear in mind, the weather's a lot more changeable in the north, so it's a big it's topic grim. of conversation. <laughs> it's not grim, it's, it's just grim. changeable.
<laughs> what the hell is that? My goodness, this is like scram times 10. No, And you like have a million you... words for a roll. Bread roll. Do you call it a roll? That's the most generic, boring thing. Can something generic is the more name. Generic interesting. Oh my gosh. Why and you it... choose to name a bread roll, like 10 different things to be more yeah. interesting. You could have a million things to like, you could have a whole no, new language. No, but it's nice language. because it inspires loads of debate amongst Northerners. It's quite a fun thing and it kind of defines where you're from. It's a little jazzy little takeaway thing that, you know, people discuss. So strange. But if, like, if you go into the chippy, mm. you wouldn't ask for a chip balm. Absolutely not. <laughs> You're missing out. Number one, I wouldn't even get Although a I bread have... roll from the chippy. I'd just say fish and chips. Period. I, mean, I wouldn't say. Sure, low carb. I get it. Right. Um, southern. I, I, I do think that southern chippies, which are rubbish, by the way. Um, wow. They're awful. I mean, Moaning. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Moaning. Oh my god. Negative. You wouldn't You're know. You're realizing this it as you say because it. Because you, I'm sorry you to haven't be the bothered one. to actually go to the north. I've Where in the south have you been besides London? Brighton, Hastings. Do you want me to list places I've been to? Well, yeah, because I feel like the north is just like one place. And I feel like the south is like all these little pockets of things. No, the, the south is, like... is London and then a few tagons around the edge of it. Also, Essex is a tagon. Uh, what did you describe it as before? The hole of London? The back. Garden of the London. Back garden Put of London. some respect on Essex's name. <laughs> we are a reality TV capital of England. I don't even know why you're debating uh, this. That's ridiculous, well, frankly. You know what? I'm going to put myself here. Okay. Because. Who are the biggest band that have ever existed? The Beatles from the North. Who else have we got? Oh, we've got Oasis. We've got Arctic Monkeys. Let's face it, we're better at music. Well, valid, valid point. The North has churned out some stars, but look at like the current, like who is the most successful in music? It's Adele, Billie it's Ed Eilish. Sheeran. No, from the UK. I'm sorry. Ed I feel like there's some strong ones in the North, but we've churned out some like in the South. Cause that's what I'm saying. Cause I feel like the North's music is like, it's amazing, but it's nostalgia. I know, I know what you mean. There is yeah. that element to it. I do get that. But I also think that there's a certain edge to music by Northern artists that may be just... Like rough. Yeah, mm. a bit dirty. Oh. You know, I just think makes it preferable to me. Also, mm. Ed Sheeran once said something disparaging to one of my mates about Scousers. So, you know. Oh. So, obviously, I'm not going to be on his You're side. You're going to be resentful. A little yeah. bit, yeah. So I'm in the uh, group that the Midlands don't exist. I don't believe there are a Midlands. I think there's a North and a South and anyone who calls themselves the Midlands just can't pick a side. Oh yeah, the Midlands is just a non-entity. Yeah. I was saying they don't need to pick a side because I don't care. Oh. You know, there's a reason we're not sat here today debating Midlands versus North or Midlands versus South because they don't like have that much of an identity. So it's not worth bothering about. <laughs> I did this reluctantly before you like just go crazy at me because I think it depends on so many circumstances. Okay, like full disclosure. Well, I live in London. Right, so you're a northerner. So I now. can't berate you for disagreeing with that statement because I've chosen to live here. There are certain opportunities in London, but quality of life and having a bit more freedom because financially you've got more freedom the north definitely allows for that mm. but then again you say about quality of life i genuinely read something that was like your average southerner has a higher life expectancy than your average northerner why i don't know but it's almost like 10 years what oh my god so i think it just depends to be so if i live in london does that mean my life expectancy is <laughs> it's gone great? way up <laughs> you've just added a whole 10 years yes Yay. Uh, it 
it's funny to joke about it. It is, it's funny it's to like, debate. It's really it's fun to, to wind each other up about it. But yeah. at the end of the day, I'm a northerner. We like nice people wherever they're from yeah. and it doesn't matter. I would I would have a drink with you. 100%, cheers to that. Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to North v South. Not the Midlands though. Midlands don't exist, don't even. Like a f <laughs> Why is it wrong? How many people go on, on porn sites? I bet it's 90% of, well, the population. Yeah. Sure. Have you been on a porn site? <laughs> it's an expose. Have you? Um, well, you know, I'm a person as well. You have, haven't you? 